Hey guys, I am coming to you today with a Zoo Lily haul, but I actually a couple days ago recorded a haul from another box of Zoo Lily stuff that I got, and then the second one just arrived, so I decided what I'm gonna do is like cut them together and make one mega Zoo Lily haul. So if you see like my clothes changing in between items, that's why it's because I recorded it at two different times, but I'm gonna um, cut them together so that everything kind of flows nicely. So um, let's go ahead and get started because these were actually two huge orders of stuff. I really enjoy these and I know you do too. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do because I find myself going down that Zulily rabbit hole quite often. And um, today I have just like a very random assortment of things, household things, clothes, shoes. Before I get started, I just wanted to show you the ginormous box that this all came in. There's not this quantity of stuff today. Um, this was like 80% filled with those um, like packing air puffs. So I've never seen so much packing material in a box before. I assume they put it in such a big box because there's two shoe boxes in there, but I was like, whoa, what is that? Okay, so the first item that we have is the black raw edge open jacket. So I got this because it looked like a little bit more of a structured jacket, um, like that would be, you know, office appropriate, but it did have kind of like a flyaway front. So the brand is Macadamia with a K. And you know, somebody asked me recently um, to list prices with these and I really don't because number one, there's no prices on this packing slip and like I don't remember. And number two, the prices change all the time. So I'll put links to the items in the video description and you can just click on to see whatever the current price is. Okay, hi. So this jacket is actually really lightweight. It's like a really stretchy material, um, but it's not as like formal as I thought it might be. And I know it says like raw hems and yeah, the hems are just unfinished. The main thing I dislike about it, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see if the lighting's good enough, but there is a seam, like a vertical seam that goes down the neckline. And when the neck is folded over, that's like on the outside of the jacket, you see that seam. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm sold on this one, but check out my trying on video and let me know what you think about it. So this item is actually something that I have purchased before, just in a different color. It's the Maritime Blue Heather Energy Ruched Front Cutout Top. Uh, this is from the brand Gaim, which is like an um, athletic wear brand. They make a lot of um, like yoga clothes and products, yoga mats and stuff like that. So here's the top and I'll intersperse wearing it, um, but I actually have this in two other colors now that I both, um, I think I bought all of them when they were on like super duper sale on Zulily. So this one is a very nice dark like navy blue. Um, the other ones I have are gray and like a kind of purpley plum color. But the thing I really like about it is this cutout on the back. So um, it's just nice to like let your neck breathe while you're working out and getting a little sweaty. And the material is really nice. It's very soft, almost like a plush kind of feel. So um, they're really nice, they fit nice, and I'm happy to have a third one to add to my collection. Okay, next we have another clothing item. This is the Lake Blue Flora Tank. It's from the brand um, Aventura, which I had never heard of before, but actually here's a Zulily tip. When you see something on there, especially if it's something you're not familiar with, Google the brand and even Google the like item name or the style name because um, a lot of times the deals aren't really like a screaming good deal. A lot of times you might find the exact same item on sale maybe for even less on some other website from a department store from the brand itself. Um, but anyway, I wasn't familiar with this brand so I did Google it and um, you know, they do have a website. They had a lot of um, like sporty looking kind of pieces. So this was actually so much nicer than I expected. I 
got it just because I love the colors and it was like a cool print. It has this cool um, like cutout thing on the back, which was sort of neat. It's just a sleeveless shirt. You'll see me trying it on. But um, the material was so much like heavier and nicer than I expected. So um, I was really pleasantly surprised with the quality. And um, again, because I Googled it, I did see you know, confirm that Zulily was offering it for a pretty good discount. So um, I'm, I'm happy with this and I'm excited also to be wearing this for the rest of the summer. Next up is the black ankle pants, and I'll have to open this too to see what the brand is. Um, I don't usually buy, does this bag not have like an opening? Okay. I don't usually buy a lot of um, pants clothing from Zulily or even online in general because I feel like pants, you really need to try them on. Okay, the brand is Pop Anna which I have never heard of before. They had some good reviews and I will have to try these on because they are just a elastic waistband. I'm like, why did I pick these now? <laughs> so they're a little bit cropped. I think I was looking for like a cropped black pant um, and straight leg. So the waistband is just stretchy elastic. There's no pockets at all, not even like faux pockets on the front or the back. Um, I do like having a back pocket at least just to like slip my phone in. So that could be a problem. There's no belt loops or anything. So I'll try these on and I'll do like the rest of my review while I have them on. Okay, I actually really like these black pants. I'm gonna step way back so you can see the length and how they're cropped, hopefully. Um, they are just above my ankle. Um, but I think they're really cute. They're definitely super comfortable with that elastic waistband. Not sure how it would hold up like in the wash necessarily, but very stretchy and comfy and I think they're pretty flattering. So I really just wish they had pockets, even just a back pocket. Just a back pocket so I could stick my phone or something in there if I needed to move around, but um, they're really cute. I think I will probably keep these. Okay, the next item in the box is the Silvertone Momo Filigree Drop Earrings. And I actually was very excited about these. They pack them separate in a little envelope so they don't get lost in that big box. Um, but these just look so pretty. They are totally my style. And I was very excited to finally get them. Um, they're sort of a combination of like two of my favorite pairs of earrings that I wear all the time. So two pairs that I wear all the time, um, one is like a teardrop shaped kind of filigree cutout earring and then one is just like a solid silver circle, like a hammered metal circle that I think also came from Zulily. I probably showed it in a previous video. So I really like these because they sort of combine both of those and I feel like will match nicely with my style. So I'm excited to try these out. Next up is this shoe box, which is the gray Arabelle sandal. I'm not sure what the actual brand is on these, we'll find out. But the funny story behind these is that I bought a very similar style sandal from Amazon based on like an ad that I saw online. And when the actual product came, it was like a solid chunk of plastic. They were so bad. I actually got a refund from the seller and um, meanwhile I saw these on Zulily and so I thought let me try these because um, maybe you know maybe they'll be nicer. I think actually looking at the logo they might be Journey Collection brand which is funny because I just bought like two pairs uh, of sandals from that brand from DSW. So let me take these out of their wrapping and try them on. 
Yeah, so I'll intersperse some footage of me wearing them. Maybe you see them like a little higher in the frame because they do have a bit of a heel to them. I guess I should have held them up to begin with. Um, so I picked the gray color because um, the other ones I did get in black and it was just like a lot of black on my foot. So I thought the gray would be like a little softer. Um, I'll have to, you know, walk around in them and um, I will cut in that footage here. But uh, I mean, I guess they're pretty comfortable just standing. They're just, I don't think that the style works for me. I think they're like too big and clunky and um, I don't know. I got them again based on like an ad that I saw online and I don't think that they are really for me. So, so these probably will go back, but um, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about them based on what you're seeing. The next item is the black Cali sandal from the brand Cushion Air. And these look like really comfortable, kind of like leatherette sandals with a crisscross strap. And when I actually got them and checked them out, they're not really leathery at all. They are like full on plastic. So let me take the packing stuff off of these and show you. So I guess I knew that these wouldn't be like leather leather like real leather but i thought that they wouldn't be so plasticky or rubbery um they would probably be good like for the beach or doing something outdoors where you want to be able to like rinse them off afterwards but um they just weren't the material that i thought they were just putting them on my feet this was so plasticky it felt like I got really sweaty right away. There was no um, like ventilation or anything on the soles of your feet. And also they seem to run really small. I got my regular size, which is nine. Um, and I my foot was like right up to the edge on both ends. So again, you'll see my little video of me probably walking around trying them on, but um, I'm not really sold on these. So I think these are going back. So the next one is called the Black Buckle Crisscross Leo Sandal. They're from the brand Refresh. I don't know how legible that box is. Um, but I had been thinking about getting like a Birkenstock um, Arizona sandal, like the classic two strap one for a while or a knockoff version would be fine with me. Um, and then I saw these and actually I like the design a lot more. So they're a similar buckle kind of sandal but they have a crisscross strap instead of just two horizontal straps. And I feel like it's kind of a more flattering shape. Um, I think I've spoken before about how I like slimming <laughs> shoes. So um, I feel like the crisscross shape is a little bit more slimming and um, they're really very comfortable. I tried them on already. You will again see my video of me walking around in them, um, but I'm excited to break these in and wear them for the rest of the summer. I will say the bottom is like really kind of more rubbery um, or more plasticky than I expected. It's more of like a hard plastic than a softer rubber material, but um, the cork sides are really nice. Uh, the straps obviously are not leather, but they seem like a pretty good kind of um, faux suede sort of material. So I think they're kind of, you know, they're, they're cool. They're a little different than those classic Birkenstock kind of style, but um, similar vibe and just something a little more unique. All right, now this item was not from Zulily, but um, I found it on Zulily. So this is a pair of boots from the brand Roan, or Rowan, I don't know. I never really heard of it before. Um, but they look like really nice boots. I saw them on Zulily and they were just, they were like a little expensive. And when I shop for things on Zulily, um, don't be taken in by like thinking it's a great deal because it isn't necessarily. And so I think I mentioned this before, but one of my big tips is like, just do a quick Google of something, especially if it's like a really like a name brand thing, because you will very likely find the exact same item on sale on some other website, a department store website, Amazon, somewhere else for the same price, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Um, but when you also consider that you're going to be spending like seven plus dollars on shipping with Zulily, um, especially if this is the only thing you're getting and you're not like bundling all your shipping together, um, it may work out to be a better deal to purchase from somewhere else. So I saw these boots. I really like them because I've been looking for kind of like a mid height boot like this that doesn't look like a 
big clunky army boot and these are really nice um, but anyway so I found the same exact ones on Amazon I didn't pull the trigger right then I just kind of added them to my wish list and um, a little while ago I was looking through and I saw that the price had actually gone down since I added them so I went ahead and purchased these um, so this is like one of the few times that I'm really like buying ahead for the season because we are just in August and I will not be wearing these probably for a few more months but they're really nice they are um, kind of like a pre-weathered suede so I'll hold this up so you can see it but it's sort of like the suede is already kind of worn in different areas which um, I kind of like that and like I said it's not big and clunky it's actually like a very um, fitted <laughs> kind of boot. Um, the laces are kind of just decorative. There's a zipper, a full length zipper down the side, the inside edge. And then there's also, I'm not 100% sure why, but there's also a zipper on the outside side as well. It does zip, but it doesn't do anything. So I think that's just kind of like a decorative zipper. I don't know. I really like them. I'm very excited to wear them for the fall. And I'm very excited that I found a better deal by doing like a quick Google before I pulled the trigger on Zulily. This is a black cable holder. So it's kind of unexciting, um, but I will show you, here's the side that says it's a cable box. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. So here next to my couch, I have this box that holds a plug strip and all the different cords for our lamp and our cell phone chargers and everything go in here. And it's kind of a pain to get open and closed. So I thought, um, I would replace it with this black one because also it'll look a little nicer, I think. It was easy, and this one is much easier to open and shut than this one with the lid. You have to struggle to get on and off. And finally, this is sort of a weird impulse buy, maybe, um, but I've actually been looking for um, artwork to hang above the dresser in my guest bedroom. And I just had this vision in my mind of like two or three um, like paintings or like canvases of succulents. And so this worked out perfect. This is the succulent wall canvas art set of two. However, before this arrived, I found something else that I think I'm going to use there instead. So I'm going to hang on to these because I have somewhere else I might want to use them, but let me show you this artwork. So just like it says on the box, it's a set of two um, just like wrapped canvases, like the image goes all the way around the edges um, of succulent pictures. So um, I just thought these looked really cool. They'd be cool, um, you know, like hanging next to each other above the dresser. I'm not putting a mirror up there because I already have a huge mirror in that room that leans against the wall. So I just wanted to put some kind of artwork. Um, but anyway, since I have something else planned for there, I think what I'm going to do is when that art arrives, I will attempt that if it works out, great. If not, I can use these. Um, but if I don't put these in the guest bedroom, I might put them in my laundry room. So stay tuned. Leave me a comment if you want to see what ends up happening with these, and I will show you one way or another. But they actually are um, pretty nice quality. They're, um, they look like they're just photos blown up. They're not like uh, a painting, and they're wrapped in plastic. So you probably can't see super well, but I'm going to leave that on for now to protect them. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what came in that humongous box. Um, if you have any comments or feedback on what I should be keeping or what I should be sending back, please do let me know, especially that jacket, the sandals. Um, if you have any thoughts about the shirt, I'm pretty sold on the shirt though. Um, and again, if you wanna see what ends up happening with that artwork, let me know too, because I'm definitely gonna hang that somewhere. It's pretty cool. Uh, so thanks again, and um, I will see you next time. Bye.